everybody, Allie here. Today we're going to be stepping outside the paper box and I'm going to decorate a fun fall themed frame. So let's get started here. Today, instead of using our copper tape, we're going to use our conductive fabric tape. This tape is a little bit more durable as far as this project is concerned and I think it'll work out well. So let's get started. I've purchased this frame and I've added this piece of cardboard to kind of build out the front because I want to build all my greenery and everything kind of here and I want my lights to stand out and appear very close and tucked under all the moss that we're going to put here. So I needed a platform and this also assists with putting our tape on to create our circuit. So let's start by flipping this over to the back. This is already hot glued on the front and sadly I did start this project and it didn't work out the way I had wanted it so I had to start again but you know what that's the way of crafting okay so our conductive fabric tape works exactly like our copper tape it's just made with fabric so it's a little bit more durable and oh, if I can just get my little sticker this just holds the end of the tape and let's start by taking the seal off the edge here and we'll find the end okay let's start by working in our battery housing area and again this is very similar to our copper tape in the sense that it already has a backing and you just peel and stick okay I'm gonna start by start my circuit underneath my battery so this is the start of the negative line of our tape and of course the minute you're on camera the minute the backing doesn't want to peel off there we go and I just lost it again. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to apply. I'm actually, I want to do t two layers. So I'm going to apply one strip first. I'm going to cut it off. And then I'm going to lie another strip right next to it. This will just ensure that the batteries have a nice platform to lie across and you know what I'm gonna okay now we gotta turn the corner and we're gonna go this works works just like the copper tape back on itself to turn the corner we're gonna go right to the front of the f frame And we're going to go right down to the base here. I need my bone folder. This always helps. Back on itself. And we're going to go right across this platform. So I want a series of lights kind of just kind of transferred across the front. So we're just going to make a trail. And I think I'm even going to do one right on this very front little piece here. So we're going to go all the way down. And again, if you need to trim this off to make it easier to work, just trim off the backing. And we're going around the corner. Gonna make 
make sure that we have adhesion to the top of that and flat to the frame. It just makes things easier. And I kind of want two lights on my frame, so we're just going to kind of build a circuit up taller here. I just want to leave room for the positive side of the circuit here. Just going to make my job easier in the end. And we're going to call that done. So there's our negative side. Okay. All right. Let's build the positive side. Now, for our battery housing, I'm going to use two batteries on this. So I've already done um, three sides because I needed to put my tape down. And we're just going to place this little fellow back in side. And of course, this is the back. Nobody's going to see the back. So we need to adhere this little fellow. Use some wet adhesive. This will not affect your circuit. There we go. And that just ensures that the batteries have a nice little house. And then for my circuit, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use a clear piece of acetate and I'm going to apply it like such. And then we're gonna build our circuit with our tape right across there. All right. So this is the positive side, which means it needs to touch the sides of the battery and it's going to be ornery. That's okay. We can stick it back in a second. I'm going to put that conductive tape and wrap it on the underside of that piece. And what that does is it makes contact with the positive sides of our battery and I'm just going to lay it right across the top. Okay. And we're going to go across the top here. Hang on, let's just do a little trim trim and get rid of our backing paper. So we want to go, we don't want to touch the other circuit because that would be bad. this down and we're going to go down the side here and I'm just going to trim this little piece of plastic off so I can go down the side of my tape it just makes it easier okay my bone folder and we're going to go now wrap it to the front of our frame and the batteries are going to fall out on me because they just, <laughs> they just will. Okay. So we want to make sure that our tape is placed close enough that our stickers, this is one sticker here, are, that the tape is close enough to itself that we can place it across. So you just have to be aware of that. So you don't want to be too far apart, but you want to be far apart that you don't you don't make your circuit not work. Okay. I'm gonna run this down. Good old bone folder. And there we go, we have our lines for our circuit and now we can put on our stickers. Okay, let's do that. Now that our circuit is done, let's put on our white lights. Stickers, 
We're going to use some of our paper. These are actually cut on my silhouette. Same with the ferns. Yeah. Just color them up with some fun inks. Now to make these kind of blend in a little bit better and so that the stark white part of the sticker is not um, showing, I'm going to take, this is a uh, YG97 and I'm just going to paint all of the white aspects of the stickers and this is just going to allow them to hide a little bit better amongst the moss. I know it's such a simple thing but that's the beauty of these stickers is that you can camouflage them too. So let's start placing our stickers. So let's do the one at the very bottom here. Remember the one where we um, stuck our fabric tape down to the bottom. So remembering the bottom fabric tape is the negative Part of the circuit so make sure that your sticker is in the right direction there we go and let's see we want to do one two three four five stickers again making sure that your sticker is placed on the right part of the circuit my battery is already plugged in the back so They're not, they're not just not depressed all the way. Okay, a quick little color. You can color right over the coppery parts of the circuit. You can even color over the lights. If you want to custom color the lights on your chibi stickers, if you have the white lights, you can color over them with alcohol markers, just like Copic marker. Any, any alcohol marker will work, um, and you can tint them. But I like having all the different options of all the colored stickers. But the white ones are very versatile. Okay. Peeling off. And again, I'm just picking random spots here. That will work. And we'll do one right at the top of that, the end of our circuit. And then we'll give this thing a little test test. Make sure that... Okay, so I'm just going to give our battery pack, our housing on the back, good press, and there we go. Everything works. So now, let's get to the decorating. Okay, let's get to decorating. I have a wide variety of mosses here. We're going to start with those. I've got my good old trusty glue gun off to the side here, heating up. And I'm going to start with this kind of stringy, noodly looking moss here. And of course, this is the messy part of it. And thank goodness for scissors. And we have a visitor. Hello, Miss Tico. Okay, so we're just going to try and put this down as a kind of a base here. I'm going to start kind of off the edge. Just a couple of blobs. I'm not worried about covering some of the, uh, the actual picture frame for the moment. I just want to get this down and mounted across and we're going to put a whole bunch of different mosses in here just want to cover up this area put a little bit of glue here
can always glue stuff back in too. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go put the batteries back in and uh, we'll give this one a whirl. Okay, are you guys ready for this? Let's dim the lights. And voila! So the LED lights are bright enough to go through that moss and you got a little bit of twinkle in your forest. Awesome! Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope I've inspired you to grab your Chibitronic products and go and have some fun. Thanks again. See you again soon.